family. My name is Vicki Dillon, and I'm so pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. As you come in, please make sure that you come in and that you share and that you like this channel and this podcast. Thank you so very much. Now, let's get ready to get right on into our topic uh, today. Surely by now you all know of the unfortunate, a recent attempted murder is really what it is, of our brother Jacob Blake. He was shot in the back seven times. His father, I think, initially came out and said it was about eight, but uh, most of the reports are saying seven times, and um, shot in the back. And I believe at least four of them penetrated his spine and other organs. And he is alive, um, thank God. But he is paralyzed right now from the waist down. In the wake of all of this, in the wake of us seeing how these white supremacist uh, Mazungu race soldiers yanked his shirt to shoot at him point blank. And in the wake of all of these other string of high profile murders, not to mention the other innumerable black murders, Jacob Blake's mother, bless her heart. Yeah, I don't believe in disrespecting folks, family members, and stuff like that. But Miss Julia, Miss Julia Jackson, and Jacob's father, Jacob Sr., Jacob Blake Sr., they both attended a recent press conference that they did with attorney Benjamin Crump. Now, family, I was very disturbed by the pattern that it seems like some of the family members come out with. Every time there's a black murder or a black death or a black shooting that's high profile like this, it seems like they all have a similar um, script and playbook. And I think it's disturbing and I think I don't think it's by accident, but I'm going to leave that subject alone for that. But his mother came out saying that what we need is some prayers. Now, I don't know if you all saw a little bit of this clip or not, but listen to just a little bit of what, what Miss um, Julia Jackson's appeal to the public is. As I was riding through here, through the city, I noticed a lot of damage. It doesn't reflect my son or my family. If Jacob knew what was going on as far as that goes, the violence and the destruction, he would be very unpleased. As I pray for my son's healing physically, emotionally, and spiritually, I also have been praying even before this for the healing of our country. Yes. Yes. God has placed each and every one of the, us in this country because he wanted us to be here. Clearly you can see by now that I have beautiful brown skin, but take a look at your hand and whatever shade it is, it is beautiful as well. Amen. Yes. How dare we hate what we are? Yeah. We are humans. God did not make one type of tree or flower or fish or her horse or grass or rock. How dare you ask him to make one type of human that looks just like you? Wow. I'm not talking to just Caucasian people. I am talking to everyone. White, black, Japanese, Chinese, red, brown. No one is superior to the other. Okay there, family. Pray. Mother says pray. Now, don't get me wrong. 
I am a deeply spiritual person. Those of you that know anything about Vicki, you know that the work that I do is um, married to spirituality. But the kind of prayers I believe in, beloved, are the kind of prayers that moves you to action. I'm going to need somebody black to talk black to me. I do not believe in just praying as an excuse for cowardice. No offense. I don't believe in the kind of prayer that relieves you of defending yourself and building and making and creating a new reality for you and your very black family for your own survival sake. We don't get to go spiritual. We don't get to go religious because we do not want to hold our oppressors accountable, family. No, 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 no. no. You're not going to put that off on God. And for a lot of you, not everybody, but for a lot of you putting it off on Jesus. You're not getting ready to put that off on Jesus. Watch this. So some of her words exactly from, and of course you, you've heard, you know, some of this I said, but the fact that she said, we really just need prayers, Jackson said. As I was riding through here, the city, I noticed a lot of damage. It doesn't reflect my son or family. If Jacob knew what was going on as far as that goes, the violence and the destruction, he would be very unpleased. Ma'am, no disrespect. No disrespect, family, seriously, no disrespect. In terms of you being a mother that's traumatized because of the attempted murder on your son's life and you want to speak out as it relates to that, of course you have every right to. But here's the thing. This is a problem that I have with some of these families where folk tell us y'all can't comment on their lives because, you know, they're going through. They let them grieve and let them deal with the trauma the best way they can. Well, then just speak for your, you and yours. The fact that his mother, Miss Julia Jackson, is addressing the masses of black people and the fact that she doesn't recognize that the that the outbursts and the response that she sees is not just about her son, Jacob Jr. Baby, it's about the string of black murders that we're responding to. This is bigger than just one of y'all. The fact that she doesn't get that means that some of us have to respond. And besides, there is a literal blood family that has the right to speak. And then you have some of us who feel like that we're the extended members of the black community. We're extended family. Why? Because what happens to one of y'all happens to us. And when you all signal weakness to our open enemies and our oppressors, then you are making us all vulnerable. We are used to these types of scripts and stories. We hear them repeatedly over and over again, and it's not by accident. So we have something to say because it affects the black collective. No disrespect, mama. But in war... It's sometimes dangerous to listen to people that are very vulnerable and very emotional because they may say and do things that they don't maybe they don't intentionally maybe mean to do, but it can be very dangerous to the black collective. She wants us to pray. Now, so if you all don't know, I'm, I'm a student of spirituality. I'm a student of religion at respect, of course, for the teaching for the nation of Islam. Um, I learn and read from both scriptures. I have studied other African uh, spiritual practices um, in Christianity. I have been involved in orthodoxy and uh, uh, the Methodist, Baptist, non-denominational, and so many other spiritual practices and stuff. So I'm a spiritualist. I'm a student of religion. Watch this. But I am sensing from the mama. And by the way, have y'all noticed how the daddy was there? And the daddy was on that. The daddy was very emotional. But the daddy came and said on that um, press conference, he prayed in Arabic. He was emotional. He left, but then he came back later. And I won't repeat exactly what he said right now because I'm focusing on how the media is using the black mama. See, all the media is talking about the mother, uh, 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 Jacob, uh, uh, Jacob. Blake's mother is calling for peace and Jacob uh, Blake's mother is saying we should pray and she's calling for unity and she condemns violence in the street. No, the only violence that, she, that I feel that needs to be condemned right now is the violence of, the, of, 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 of these white supremacist race soldiers. We don't even have time to deal with the people in the streets. How are you going to uh, 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 murder somebody 
and constantly and keep doing it and you want us to focus on how they respond no you need to re uh, focus on what's initiating what's what's starting this stuff you want to get to the root of the issue baby. we're not going to just be talking about the fruit of stuff we're going to get to the root of the issue i don't even have time to discuss that with y'all how are you going to oppress somebody and then tell the oppressed how to respond if you don't go sit your funny looking self down But the media is acting like his black father wasn't even in attendance. Have y'all noticed that? Well, perhaps they don't want to talk about what daddy said when daddy came back to that podium later. Daddy called out those Mzungus. Somebody talk black to me. Daddy said he don't trust nothing. He don't trust these Mzungus. That's the reason why they ain't quoting daddy. Daddy's focused on who's the problem. Daddy ain't talking about the violence of the people in the streets in response to violence that was perpetrated, the attempted murder that was perpetrated upon his son. That's what he, he's focusing on, who started the stuff. And mama, I watched the video, she was visibly upset when he pointed that out, when the father pointed it out. That lets you know that the media is trying to create black gender wars amongst the black community. They're instigating a divide and conquer strategy so that we are not collective and calling out racist oppressors. I hope y'all are peeping the game. I hope you're not falling for this uh, black feminism stuff, and black uh, 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 the gender wars between us when we're in the middle of war. Stoking black gender wars while we're in the middle of war with the system and in, in institutions and people that's trying to murder us in America and around the world, they want us to focus on each other and start mess with us. But get back to this. The mama said pray. Miss Miss Julia talking about some sheep, she calling for prayers. She's calling for prayers. She's telling us we just need to pray. Okay. So because I know that she is more than likely. She's speaking from a Christianity standpoint. And you all know, I believe in Christianity that has a black perspective. I don't want to hear about your open enemies, the oppressor's interpretation of the scriptures. Because, you know, they tainted and messed with the word of God. But if you're going to speak about it in the Hebrew context, if you're going to speak about it, even with the Old Testament and the New Testament, in the proper context, because there's some good gems in there. Watch this. Good gems to live by. Okay, let's oblige the mother's request. I know some of y'all are like, Dickie, what are you doing? I thought you just said some people use prayers as an excuse. They do, but watch this. Let's oblige her request. I'm going to ask everybody right now. Put some prayer signs in the chat. Everybody, let's pray. Let us pray. Let's, let's posture yourself. I wanna, let's oblige her request. I don't want you to, I'm not even going to do my own prayer. I'm going to use a prayer from David, Psalm 35, just a couple of them. Let us pray. Would you pray with me right now, family? Let's pray. Let's oblige Jacob Blake's mother's request to let's pray. Psalm 35, let's do this prayer from Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive against me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also your spear and stop them in the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause, they have hid from me their net in a pit which out, without cause they have digged for my soul. Verse 26. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together and rejoice, th those that rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with the shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Amen. 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 And amen. How about that prayer, mama? That wasn't me. That's David. That's a, the David. That's the Psalm of David, Psalm 35. That's, that's what we finna pray around here. Somebody talk black to me. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to the podcast today right here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Vicki X Dillard. And also be sure to follow me on my personal uh, Facebook fan page, my Facebook fan page, rather, at Vicki Dillard. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dillard Vicki. Thank you so much. I came to you in peace. I leave you in peace. Love you.